Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 16th of January 2019 and the time has just gone 11.40 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is the IBEX or the Spanish 35 or the Spain 35 as we call it on our platform. Taking a look at the price action on the market uh, from the back end of 2018, we can see there's been a very obvious downward trend, a nice example of a series of lower lows and lower highs. Yes, I'm fully aware that the high in December managed to just about take off the high of November, but as we can see, um, the, the sell-off that we saw uh, shortly after that managed to print a fresh low and managed to take out the October lows and in fact, the low in December was the lowest level seen since August 2016. So I'll give you an indication of how bearish sentiment was uh, just after Christmas time. Um, since late December, global equity markets have managed to rebound. Uh, we can see a fairly decent bounce back um, in the IBEX here. But notice how it's running into resistance at this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes into play at 88.76. Now, if we notice, if we kind of track the, track the market's performance against the 50-day moving average in recent months, we can see it did manage to act as resistance in, in uh, mid-December, also in November, October, and also in sept uh, in, back in September here. Now, granted, it did manage to trade above it and, and, um, and, then, and, uh, and then sell off uh, sharply below it again in early December. But by and large, in the last few months, this metric has managed to act as a um, as a ceiling or as a as an area of resistance for the ibex. Now, if that continues to be the case, we could potentially see the market turn over on itself. And taking a look at the price action here, whereby the market is trying to get above the 50-day moving average but quite, can't quite get there, we can see that the positive momentum on the MACD indicator is actually declined. So the market is trying to push higher. It can't get above the 50-day moving average. And guess what? On the MACD histogram, uh, we're, we're seeing that positive momentum is in decline, it's ever so slightly cooling. So we could see the market turn over on itself yet again, uh, which would be um, in line with the kind of wider negative trend we've seen for many months. If we do manage to drop below the most recent low of 87.50, we could be looking heading back down towards the 8,500 area. We saw a lot of consolidation in that region. And if we go below that, we could be looking heading down towards 82.30. If, on the other hand, the market does manage to uh, retake and close above and hold above the 50-day moving average here, the next area to keep an eye out for will be 9,000. It's a big psychological number. And if you go beyond 9,000, an area to, then to keep an eye out for will be the this uh, early December high of 92.60 and if you take out that if you take out the December high that could then look to actually kind of uh, change traders opinions about the uh, could potentially begin to change traders opinions that about the, the the downward trend that we've been in for a number of months because an upward trend is defined as a series of higher highs and higher lows if you are trading uh, the IBEX please keep an eye out for um, um, the Eurozone CPI numbers, which are released tomorrow, that will give us a good indication of demand in the region as a whole. Lately, the economic indicators for Spain and the Eurozone as a whole have actually been quite disappointing. So there's a lot of talk out there um, that the Eurozone is going through kind of an economic slowdown. So please keep an eye out on the economic news if you're going to be trading the IBEX 35. And lastly, uh, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.